it's sweet because of the testosterone gel. Hello. I just put it on like an hour ago, so it's not I got cold. I don't want to put it on again, so it's fine. I'm uploading the footage I just made for Monday to make the second vlog and already it is going terribly wrong because apparently instead of videos I made pictures. So here's a picture of me trying to walk the stairs and trying to record that talking about that I am trying to get 10,000 steps in every day not necessarily because it's really a goal I need to achieve but it is something to get me moving and to get me motivated to do more steps. Then this second picture is um, yeah, just me trying to walk away from the, the camera and you know that making a, a nice b-roll and everything. Now the third picture is me talking about, let me see. Ah oh yeah, I was talking about the, um, the Beerklau, which is a plant in the Netherlands. I don't really know the English word, I'll just place it here. But it is a plant that is uh, very poisonous and you get really like terrible burns when you touch it. And they use pesticides to get them out of the way. But they were really, really bad. There were a lot of, of Beerklaus. And I believe also in the fourth picture, I'm trying to show that, but the, yeah, the, the, the perfect looking in the camera, turning on the camera picture. So going great. Afterwards, I got home and I needed to go to the toilet. So that's where we continue. You know, the downside of walking in the Netherlands is that there aren't any toilet places when you're walking a route or something like that. Not any, uh, there are not much toilets. There was one along the route, but it was closed because if they would have it open, then it would be destroyed. So they open it at around afternoon when everyone is like swimming there. But for the early birds, there is no toilet. Now, I do have a device so I can stand peeing, but I didn't bring that along because I thought, well, 5K is manageable, so I don't need that device. And also it feels kind of awkward to, I don't know, not necessarily to stand peeing with the, the thing I have, but I feel it's socially pretty awkward for anyone to just go and pee in the park. And I don't think it's even allowed, so I don't know. It's just, uh, but if you if you have to go, you gotta go. So it's kind of awkward to not being able to pee. And yeah, I mean, in Sweden, when we walk the high coast hike, every about three kilometers, there was a toilet place. So that's very convenient, very comfortable. And yeah. It's something we don't have in those because I probably would get destroyed. I don't know. And I know first world problems, but it's something that I, I worry about a lot. And that's the thing as well as for being transgender and going which bathroom do you go to and when do you go to the women's bathroom and when do you go to the men's bathroom. I kind of figured that out like along the way that I was going to the disabled toilet but it also didn't feel right so I started going to the men's toilet but then coming across colleagues it's kind of weird it's 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 just generally a weird thing but I just gotta go I that's something I kept in my mind I just gotta go to the toilet doesn't matter what toilet I go to I can't go to the women's toilet anymore that's not I mean uh, I, I could but it's just kind of like People are freaking out because of that, so I can't. And the men's toilet is fine, and most of the time this, this, the toilet seats are also perfect. And now I feel comfortable with that, but in the beginning I really wasn't. And also again, in Sweden, they just have gender neutral toilets everywhere, which is very comfortable, very, very, I'm very happy about that. And I believe they should have more of that in the Netherlands. Like in, for example, gas stations and everything. I don't really need that anymore, but I can imagine that someone who is non-binary or just started their transition, it's comfortable to have a gender neutral toilet. So anyway, enough rambling about toilets. Um, I don't need to go. I just went to, to my own toilet. I, enough talk about that. Opening an avocado is always a bit like rolling a dice. It's, no, it's not even a dice. It's like one or zero. It's good or it isn't. It's not even a dice. It's 
nothing in between. Hey girl, you want a piece of cheese? You like that? Thank you.